What are you seeking? Behind closed doors or an open conversation, what are you seeking? You have been told the mind of the flesh is death, the mind of the spirit is life and peace. Now, have you considered the need to be set free from double-mindedness? The tossing back and forth, to and fro, falling into agreement with any opinion presented to you in a logical tone and a reasonable discourse. What I ask of you is not to prove yourself to me, but to receive that I have proven myself worthy, worthy of your trust, your desire, your utmost place of honor. I ask this of you because I know the heart. I made it myself. And what it craves is to beat to the rhythm of its divine purpose, which is to be filled, to be filled with love. Everything I am and all that I have done has been to win your heart. The very essence of who you are and why you've been made, I have locked it away in the chambers of this secret heart. And I hold the key. Again, I made it this way. So nothing and no one else would satisfy you. Because no one and nothing else has the ability to satisfy the innermost part of your being. Yes, that part of you you cannot explain away with highly intellectual soliloquies. That part that remains empty, no matter how frequently you attempt to fill it with X, Y, and Z. Your hearing this is not happenstance. The creation will always groan for the creator. I've searched for you through the wooded terrain of your memory. The places only you have gone, and you thought you had gone alone. No, I've searched for you, and I found you. To keep you in a place of safety, a place of love, a place of redeeming grace. Because before man knew the concept of time, I knew you. Do you desire this invitation to love I offer? Then seek me, and you will find me.